I love telling and sharing stories about the strange experiences my friends and I have while doing mundane things like grocery shopping. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily anomalies, a micro audio book about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from Pam Gaslow, who you'll find on medium.com, and here is I'm 50 and it's not funny. I recently turned 50. I didn't want to turn 50. I tried hard not to. It happened anyway. 50 is both a milestone and a mind fuck, and not to brag, but I made it in one piece. I also made it without any unwanted pregnancies and no arrests. I didn't marry any idiots, get any embarrassing tattoos when I was drunk, or buy a lion on a whim. By anyone's standards, I'm a modern-day success story. No matter how young you feel or how good you look, 50 is a tough pill to swallow. You can't help but reflect back on what you've accomplished or how you've squandered the last half a century. I know life isn't necessarily a numbers game, but nonetheless, here are some of the numbers. I was born in 1970. In 1973, I fell out of my high chair. I lost my virginity on Super Bowl Sunday, 1987. I've been to 30 countries and two rehabs. I've had seven long-term relationships, 11 one-night stands, a 35-year lover, and one broken engagement. I haven't had a cigarette in 17 years and a drink in 24 years. At 26, I was dating a 48-year-old. At 50, I'm sleeping with a 36-year-old. Happy birthday to me. In the United States, 3,731,386 people will turn 50 this year. This has no relevance whatsoever, but it sounded important. So what do all 3,731,386 of us do now? Get congratulated on making it this far? Receive medals? Gold watches? A pat on the back? Does anyone pay us for this hard work? Or are we considered half dead? Three quarters dead? Is it time to celebrate or time to cry? I decided it was time to celebrate. I wanted to commemorate all my awe-inspiring accomplishments and also distract myself to avoid being suicidally depressed by my lack of others. I started to plan a 50th birthday party. As soon as I sent out the Evite, one of my friends called. 50? He said. I feel like I'm going to your funeral. 